I work in the city office in New York City, and I handle the global fintech partnerships for the innovation lab for TTS. I really wanted to do an international MBA in order to actually learn another language, so I ended up going to France for a two-year MBA program in a really small town. But I wanted somehow to make artisan bakery. This is an interesting hobby of mine I had throughout school was baking and ended up working with a couple bakeries. When I moved back to the States, I ended up doing supply chain and procurement for a global bakery company. And I had done procurement within the healthcare industry for a while, then into consumer goods and the hospitality industry. I started within software procurement and then moved into this role where I really get a chance to sit with the business, hear their problems, hear about their strategic priorities and analyzing it from a gap level. And I work with a lot of people in the business here and they all say, I think you have the coolest job. And I was like, I really think I do. Then I really get to drive um, things that I find interesting. Having that type of ecosystem that looks at talent and promotes that talent, I think is very strong as well. I, mean, I always tell people I'm an ex-baker turned banker. I lead the blockchain center of excellence at City. I'm a technologist and a philosopher. I originally got into computers and computer science through video games. Arcades and single games evolved into huge peer-to-peer -peer networks. My master's of philosophy in electrical engineering was a joint venture between music department and the engineering department. Music, again, very similar I've always been interested in composition. You need to be fluid, dynamic, agile. It's the technology that excites me. You can scale a product that affects billions of people. Small ideas in the lab become large and real quite quickly. My PhD was about Sami people in the Arctic, bringing the internet to challenged communities. If we can enable more people and more equalness, this would be great. I am a transformational banker. I work with the City Innovation Lab in Singapore as an innovation catalyst. When I was small, banking wasn't really kind of like a child dream for me. I was deeply passionate about drama. I started doing drama since high school and I have been awarded twice for the Best Actress Award in the Drama Festival in Hong Kong. I study in business administration, major in finance, and later on, I just finished my master's study in Singapore with Singapore Management University. There is a lot of relevance between the job and drama because our job, the innovation work, requires a lot of empathy towards our clients, understanding what their pain points are and what exactly are they trying to solve. One of the best things that since I joined City is the group is very diverse. A lot of different people from different backgrounds that contribute to move things forward. I do believe that there would be a transformational change in the banking sector in the few years. The team is able to deliver a lot of value and lead the transformation. I'm an entrepreneur. I started my startup in peer-to-peer -peer global microfinancing on blockchain and alternative credit scoring methods after my master's at University of Oxford. A lot of it is very personal, actually. So my family struggled with financial instability, and so that made me really keenly aware of the issues of uh, financial inequalities in our society and also how that's tied to gender, race. And during undergraduate years, I studied political science and Asian studies, and I I became even more interested in the issue of financial inclusion, especially for women and also in migrant workers. I saw that it could be really powerful to bring together the formal financial institutions with these technologies. The Innovation Lab at City had a really good group of people from diverse backgrounds, and that's why our Innovation Lab is powerful and strong. I'm a data scientist based in Dublin. So I studied applied physics in Dublin City University. When I finished my PhD in maternity, I ended up working as a postdoc researcher with the Biomedical Diagnostics Institute. So I was working on developing sensors to detect diseases that would have markers present in your blood. A cheap and fast way 
to diagnose some of the more common diseases that usually would take weeks to detect. City Innovation Lab, the projects that we get in, is like, to me, they're very much experiments, proof of concept, and uh, inherent in that is, is the fact that they might not work. I am a problem solver. That's what I like about data science. It, it's solving the problem and, you know, going about things logically. That's a good attitude to bring, to treat everything as an experiment, which may or may not be successful. And that in itself is not a failing, that's a learning, and not being successful isn't a failure.